Scorpio. Hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Scorpio, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Scorpio, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot and stay tuned till the end of your reading while we'll pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. Wow. So right now, there is a third party entering your life. This third party wants to reconcile whoever this is, that three of cups energy. Maybe this is a friend, family member. You may have had a falling out or you haven't heard from them for quite some time. They want to apologize. They did something and they feel really bad about it and they've had some time to reflect. Now, when they apologize, it's up to you to forgive them. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. Forgiveness is basically saying, I am no longer thinking of you. That's all forgiveness is. Whenever you're thinking of someone, especially like whenever you're holding resentment, it's like drinking poison and expecting them to get sick. It doesn't work. But whenever you forgive with someone, it's cutting the energetic cord with them. And quantum entanglement has shown that you do not want to at all connect with anyone that you are, like don't want to associate with you know, mentally. I'll give you an example. Like if someone cheats on you, you're not gonna hold their hand, kiss them and make out with them, right? Ooh, so that's what happens when you're thinking of them. You're entangling with them. Don't entangle with someone that hurt you 10 years ago or your, your boss that's being rude to you or your neighbor that you know looked at you funny. Don't entangle with them. That's how I look at it. I look at it as if I think of someone, I'm dating them. So I'm like, oh, I don't want nothing to do with that energy. Only think of the people you love. All right, now check this out. You got the Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups, Three of Wands, High Priestess, yes please. Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Pentacles, King of Swords, Page of Wands, Strength card, this is all abundant. Now Scorpio, your affirmation for today, write this down in the comment section is, I am a money magnet, yes you are, this is your birthright, but you have to quantum entangle with this energy. I am a money magnet, write that down in the comment section, command, assume, expect the energy of wealth. I am a money magnet, let the universe know you are ready, Affirmation means effortless attention. Easiest thing you'll do. I am a money magnet. Write that down in the comment section. I see you being liberated in the near future. You finding your passion and monetizing, doing something you truly love. Your angels are gonna give you a download and right now you're going to feel so inspired. You're gonna be like, oh my goodness, this is such a good idea. I can't believe I haven't done this yet, right? You're gonna think it's your idea. Whenever we get ideas, what do they come in the form of? Uh, images and feelings. That is how your angels speak to you. A lot of times we tend to think our angels are going to speak languages like English, Spanish, you know, French, Cantonese. No, they speak feelings. Right now the universe is going to show you through the yellow brick road, the infallible guide, right? Through the images and feelings of what your next steps should be. And right now, in order to guide them, because a lot of times we tend to think that like we are waiting for the universe and the universe knows best. No, the universe is the observer, you are the creator. Imagine there's a movie, this is your movie, but in order to put it in production, you have to come up with the script. The producer's ready, the cast is ready, the director's ready, but nothing can happen till they get the script. The universe is waiting to deliver a miracle to you. You need to 100% understand this. The universe wants to give a miracle to you. This miracle could consist of you getting rich, meeting your soulmate, being healthy, all this stuff. But you have to tell it what you're looking for. This is the trick, law of attraction, law of assumption. I see here with that ace of swords, that you are going to get some sort of inspired action to do something when you get the ball rolling. So for example, my wife Alicia and I, we had retail businesses. We noticed that we're working 12 hour days and we barely see each other. One day we told ourselves, Spirit, we want to be able to make money passively online. We want to sit on the beach with a laptop and create wealth. We told the universe what we're looking for. Next thing you know on our, on our YouTube feed, it said Amazon FBA, and now we have 12 different brands. So we told the universe, I am looking for this. Then the universe said, this is the path to go down. There's the aha moment of clarity. Right now, your angels are doing the same thing for you. Now, I see here deep down inside with the Ace of Cups that you are passionate about something. Something really inspires you. There is something you love doing. What is this, right? Maybe you love cooking. Maybe you love exercising. Maybe you love... Uh, um, 
writing stuff down. Maybe you're just a really good journaler, right? Like, or I don't know if that's a word, but maybe like copywriting, right? Who knows what it is, but you are good at something, you're passionate about it, but you're unaware that you can monetize it. This is the best part. You can monetize your passion. Take a look at my YouTube channel right here. What am I doing? Connecting to my angels and guides with two lights and a camera in front of me. I would do this for free. If I had a hundred million dollars cash, I would still release videos because this is something that keeps me aligned, right? Same thing with my pet supplements. If I had a hundred million dollars cash, I still would sell my dog treats because it helps dogs. Nothing makes me happier than read reviews of dogs jumping on couches. So there's something here that you may find like, oh, you know, it's just normal. It's not. There is something you are very good at that you can monetize and you're going to get the inspired action to do so. Now you also have the eight of pentacles and this is really about you mastering your career. So expect things to get better at work. Right now, if you've been waiting for promotion or to get the recognition you deserve or a pay raise, expect this to be coming in the near term. And right now by living in the timeline as if it's already happened, that is the gateway there. So right now, if you're waiting for a promotion, rather than be there, be like, oh my goodness, when is this gonna happen? It hasn't happened yet. Who, what, when, where, how, which causes resistance. Instead, live in the timeline as if it's already happened. So for example, what would I do? I would grab my journal, I would write as if how I got the promotion. I'd be like, wow, today you know, is the one year anniversary of me getting the promotion. I'm making X amount of dollars extra. I am so grateful. I'm actually going up for another promotion very soon here. The tide is shifting and everyone here respects and loves me ever since whatever event you're looking for, write it down. But by you taking action, by giving the universe direction, writing that script, that's when things change. Remember, focus on the feeling rather than the details, right? This is one thing that will change your life. Rather than be like who, what, when, where, how, how good is it gonna be to, to get that promotion? How's it gonna feel? Oh, it's gonna feel so good. Focus on that feeling. Feelings are the language of the universe. Now you got the Knight of Swords and your angels are telling you, don't run away from your fears, run towards them. What are you scared of is actually your greatest strength. So us empaths gotta work on this, right? We're always people pleasing. We're always making sure everyone else is happy but us. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? But when it comes to us, we barely give ourselves attention. So right now, don't run away from your fears. Like for example, us empaths, we find ourselves shy and sensitive and weak sometimes. No, being sensitive is like being a mind reader. It helps me so much. I walk into a room, whenever I do a business deal, I'm like, you're scared, you're ready to cut a deal and you want us to get this over with, great. I just mirror back the, you know, their, 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 their worries and we're good to go. And that's the energy I feel from you. Now you got the devil card here. Right now, this is the ego preventing you from shining by trying to instill fear on you. And right now, let go of this fear by knowing it does not have any power. What does this really mean? When you look at a shadow on the wall, does, is it, can it hurt you? No, but it sure looks scary sometimes. Exactly. So right now, fear is nothing more than an illusion and it only has power when you give it power. Understand that you are a high frequency, high energy being. You are soul. You are soul. And when you use love to combat fear, it works every single time. For example, you have an option of looking at things from a fearful perspective or a loving perspective. You want to buy a house. It, rather than be like, oh my goodness, I better buy a house now or I'm running out of time. You can be like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to buy this house. It's something I've been waiting for for quite some time. It's all perspective. It's the same goal, same you know, objective, but different perspectives. All right, now check out your animal spirit, buffalo spirit. Look at the message. The abundant universe will always provide, uh, uh, provide. Not the scarcity universe, the abundant universe. When you go walk along the beach, when you look at you know the entire beach, there's a lot of sand, right? Okay, now imagine if you looked at every grain of sand. You'd be like, whoa, what the heck, right? Same thing when you look at the stars or whenever you look at, you know, water. You know, when I look at water, I look at every H2O molecule because I'm trying to train my mind to see abundance in everything. When you see abundance in everything, you're not going to be like, oh, there's only a select few millionaires. How am I supposed to be one? You'd be like, there's so much of everything, right? That is the mind state. So right now, reprogram your subconscious mind. All right, now check this out, Scorpio. Final message from your spirit guides. They say fresh approach because they know that breath of fresh air is where it's at. Right now, their message is time to step out of the box and end the old way of doing things. You're being challenged to try something new. Look how to create magic in your world. Create with the intention of filling your life full of joy and happiness new energy, change your energy, change your life, right? Right now, when you have new thoughts, 
you have new feelings. New feelings lead to new choices, lead to better behaviors and better experiences. So right now, controlling your thoughts is the first step. If you ever catch yourself lacking, let it go. For example, you're going for a walk and you start thinking of someone who hurt you. Uh Uh-oh, there it is. There's me lacking, thinking of the past. Bring your awareness back to the present moment and think of something else. It's as simple as pie. The path in life is simple, it's just not easy. It's easy when you start practicing it. Riding a bicycle is not easy at first. Tying your shoelaces is not easy at first, but now you can probably do it with your eyes closed. Okay, this concludes your reading, Scorpio. If there was a message in here for you, consider liking this video and subscribing. Until next time, follow your passion. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. Now, if you wanna watch a really good video, check out these videos.